the secret of success is that these two beca should become one. There are two fundamental aspects or forces acting within every human being. One is uh, the force of self-preservation, the instinct of self-preservation is constantly striving to build walls of protection around yourself. And the longing to become boundless is constantly striving to push you beyond the boundaries in which you exist. It is these two which are finding variety of expression, either in the form of accumulation or in the form of every kind of desire that one can throw up, is essentially the play of these two forces. Once you make the mistake of identifying yourself with something limited, the instinct of self-preservation wins, hands down. To a point, it almost makes it looks like the other force doesn't even exist. So the essence of working towards Success in one sadhana is, all sadhana is essentially aimed towards expanding the limitations, breaking the boundaries of one's energy. When your energies are longing to become boundless, in your thought and emotion, if you're identified with limited things around you, then you will create an unnecessary tussle between the two forces. The secret of success is that these two beca should become one. Unless these two things become one, you do not have enough energy to break the limitations of the present dimension to break the boundaries of present dimension because now whatever you have is split. It is trying to tug you in two different directions. It will become a journey of one step forward, one step backward, one step forward, one step backward. If you're doing one step forward, one step backward, it's very clear you are not intending to go anywhere. Maybe it's good exercise, but, but you are not intending to go anywhere. Once you are identified with the limitations of your own body, what you refer to as extended body, extensions of your body or family, house, it's not you should not have them. Having a body and being identified with is different. Similarly, having a family and being identified with it is very different. Once you're identified with it, naturally, your whole system work towards building a wall around this identity, not allowing one to expand or to break the barriers of who he is right now. Shankara laments, kate kanta danagat chinta, which means once you're identified, with your 
family relationships, you can only naturally think of money and property and this and that, you cannot think of anything else. Don't give yourself the thing, oh yes, I have become like this only because of my family. No, you have not become like this because of your family. Because you are like this, your family has become like that. Don't get it the other way around. It is the way you identify yourself with it that certain things are happening. Nothing outside of us is a barrier. It is the way we hold it, the way we carry the outside within ourselves is the barrier. If your energies are split, one trying to build walls, another trying to break walls, it is a tussle, it is a wasteful way of living. If you dedicate everything to building walls, at least you may build a great wall of India. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Chinese have the greatest wall, I think. Or if you put all your energies towards breaking boundaries, that will definitely happen. There are old barriers, walls which were built elsewhere, which may take a little bit of time to break. But the important thing is that you are not building new walls. Old walls can be made to crumble, but the problem is the new walls that are coming up every day. This is not something that you have to do consciously. Once you have a limited identity, everything in you builds walls, there is no other way. So sadhana, is pushing you in one way. If your mind is pegged down to limited things, you are unnecessarily creating a tension in the system. So it's very important. It's like you tied up your boat and you're rowing it hard. Good exercise again, but you're not going anywhere. If you untie the rope, even if you do not row, slowly, with the pace of the river at least you will go. Spiritual journey need not be effortful, it just needs to be sensible. But to come to sense, <laughs> it may take effort sometimes, need not but it may.